Hi everyone, this is Heather Lautinen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 406, and today we're talking about what you need to know when you are considering leaving your job to pursue a career in photography. I work with a lot of women who leave their corporate jobs to start their own photography business, and of course when you are doing this, there is probably a lot of fear involved. So specifically, I was working with a friend yesterday, and she was here for four hours. It was from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and this session was so intense that neither one of us got up to get a drink, get anything to eat, or use the restroom for four hours. She looked at the clock and she said, how in the world did four hours pass that quickly? Because we got into some pretty deep discussions about fear and leaving your business. Many of you will come to me and ask me all of the how questions. How do I establish my business? How do I market? How do I price? How do I photograph? How do I edit? How, how, how? But really, I don't think you need to get hung up on the how. You need to understand what your belief system is and what your fears are around leaving your job or starting your business. So I had her list her fears out and we went over them one by one to talk about where they come from and also to debunk them, quite frankly, to look at them in the light of day and say, okay, is that really a legitimate fear or is that just something that you've made up in your head? But one fear that a lot of people have is obviously around failure and failure can take on a couple of different components. Failure as in, I won't get any clients or people will think I'm stupid or I won't make any money. And by the way, I personally do not believe in failure. Uh, I welcome it because it's always a lesson and really there's no such thing as failure. It's just feedback that tells you to go in a different direction. I also believe that there's no such thing as a right or wrong decision, just a different choice. Sometimes I make great choices and sometimes I make choices that are less than ideal. But when I do that, I adjust quickly, I refine, and I make a new decision to go in a different direction. So I want you to eliminate the words failure from failure and fear from your mind. So failure is just feedback, and fear is just a way of your brain trying to keep you safe from doing something different. Okay, one of the biggest fears besides failure is money. So people will say, you know, I make X amount of money at my corporate job, and I am concerned what that will look like in terms of photography. So I have two things, two numbers that you must know if you are considering leaving your corporate job. Number one is what do you bring home per month after taxes? I mean, you need to physically write it down on paper, multiply it by 12 and look at that number. It is not your salary because your salary has taxes taken out of it. You need to know what it is you bring home after taxes, you need to know that number. Then you need to add up all of your expenses for the month and determine how much of your income you are contributing to the household expenses. So if you are married, maybe you and your husband share those responsibilities, maybe you're the breadwinner, maybe you're not, that doesn't matter. You just need to know how much money you personally need to contribute to the household finances per month. Okay, so you have this number that you bring home per month and then you have this number that you contribute. Now I am hopeful that the number you bring home is greater than the number you contribute or you might have other issues and if that's the case, then might I suggest you check out Dave Ramsey because we live a debt-free lifestyle because debt just makes you a slave and being debt-free gives you options. Okay. So once you know these numbers, what you bring home after taxes and what you contribute to the family income, household expenses, you know those per month and then you know those per year, then you can start to determine how feasible it is to ramp up your business in order to meet those numbers. So I would argue that the number you contribute should be less than what you bring in, obviously, your expenses. and you could probably actually live off of less than that. Um, I have found that to be true for myself and for many of my clients. You bring home a certain amount, you think you need a certain amount, but the truth is there are some things you could, you could live without like three vacations a year. You know, you could, you don't want to because it would be uncomfortable, but you could. Okay, once you know this number, um, why don't we just make up some fictitious numbers for fun? Okay, let's do that. So let's say you bring home per month after taxes, $3,000, I don't know, I'm making this up, $3,000 after taxes and you contribute $1,500 per month to the family expenses. So that leaves you with $1,500, that should be going into your savings, I hope, or you have this $1,500 that you have to contribute. Okay, $1,500 a month 
means that you would need to photograph how many sessions at what rate in order to meet those expenses. And by the way, if you think simple numbers, if you think, okay, I need 10 sessions at $100, then obviously we're at 1,000, or I need 15 sessions at $100 to meet that 1,500, well, that's a lot. So maybe I need to increase my prices. Maybe I need $200 and I need 10 clients, well that's 2,000, that's 2,000 in sales, which your income is obviously less than that, you know, taxes and expenses. But starting out, you need to understand, I don't mean to complicate it for you, high level, you need to know what you bring home per month after taxes and you need to know what you contribute because that gives us a baseline for where and how we're going to grow our photography business. And you can't assume that the minute you leave your job, your business is just gonna be booming. It obviously takes time to grow it. So a lot of people will choose to grow their businesses whilst working their full or part-time job. To which I say to them, listen, it's gonna get a lot harder before it gets easier. Is it possible? Absolutely. I did it. A lot of people do it. It's possible. But it will be challenging when you are working a full-time job, possibly raising a family, and launching a business. It's going to be hard. But then you have to find kind of that sweet spot in terms of when you decide to actually pull the trigger to leave the corporate job and go with photography full-time. But if you have laid the foundation, meaning you have your gear, you have a few paying clients, and you're just growing and refining, then I think you're perfectly set to do so. I wanna encourage you to follow your passion and your dreams, and I also wanna encourage you to do it wisely, knowing your numbers and understanding what it looks like to help eliminate that fear. Have you left a corporate job for photography? Could you please leave a comment? What are your thoughts? How could we help one another? I'll see you in the next video.